Mabuhay, Great 10 Scientist! Welcome once again to our, another episode of our Great 10 Science Class. Char! What is earthquake? Earthquake is the shaking of the ground that releases tremendous amount of energy. This energy retreats in all directions in the form of seismic waves. We experience earthquake because, as we discussed last time, the lithosphere is not whole. The ground or the earth's crust is cracked into several pieces and this breakage along the ground is what we call fault. Now the point where the earthquake starts is called the focus. And the point directly above this focus is what we call the earthquake at the center. We can only locate where the earthquake epicenter is by gathering data of the arrival times of P wave and S wave from the seismograph found in the recording stations. These waves are detected by the seismograph and their arrival times are recorded in the seismogram. This is a typical seismogram. This shows that P wave arrives first, followed by S wave after a few minutes. The difference in the arrival time of P wave and S wave is used to determine the distance of the epicenter from the location of the seismograph. For instance, there was a hypothetical earthquake. In order to locate the epicenter of this earthquake, we need data from at least three seismic stations, let's say Batangas, Puerto Princesa, and Davao. In here, the differences in the arrival times of P wave and S wave are already provided for you. 38 seconds in Batangas, 44 seconds in Puerto Princesa, and 32 seconds in Davao. All you need to do now is to solve for the distance of the epicenter using the distance formula distance is equal to time difference divided by 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. Now we will draw three circles on our map and these dimensions that we have solved will be used as the radius. of these three circles is said to be the earthquake's epicenter. 